Excuse me. Hi guys. It is just a nasty, yuck, depressing, slit your wrist kind of bullshit day here in the end times. We have now found our way finally. It took seven and a half hours to get from Pittsburgh to Cincinnati, Ohio. But we have arrived on this lovely gloomy day and uh, I gotta get to cooking an apple pie to warm up my spirits but before I do that of course I just have to uh, open up the mainstream media for this for today's we are so fucked headline and guys I don't know I, I just can't stop ranting about our friend Elon Musk I've mentioned this uh, <clears throat> Starlink satellite uh, <clears throat> wacko idea of his, but apparently uh, I do not know what uh, Elon has been smoking this week, but Elon and, and Hallelujah is, is, is answering the call. Apparently he wants uh, Wi-Fi for the planet, so anywhere I go on this planet. It doesn't matter where I go. Thank you, Elon Musk. I will have good internet, and so I, I have a hard time uh, talking trash about Elon. But let's see what Elon's latest plan to uh, is this save the planet? This is a view of. So what Elon wants to do, guys, is. I guess now he's talking about putting 42,000 that his company SpaceX, he now has 42,000 satellites he wants to uh, launch so we can have good internet. This is a, uh, what they, I guess what they did here is they put 42,000 uh, yellow dots. Uh, this is what our planet will look like if Elon Musk has his way. And we can all do the math. Okay, that is a lovely looking Goldilocks planet. So take it away, Elon. This is from... Let's see, well, it's from Yahoo News. Good God, I'm not going to have time to read this whole... So I'll put the link on here. We'll just... This is from good old Business Insider. Business Insider. You might remember uh, Guy McPherson quoting Business Insider in 2016, claiming that Manhattan would be underwater by 2018. Of course, Business Insider never said that. He just pulled that out of his fucking ass like everything else he pulls out of his ass. But anyway, we're not talking about Guy, we're talking about Elon Musk. Take it away, Business Insider. SpaceX may want to launch 42,000 internet satellites, about five times more spacecraft than humanity has ever flown. You take it away. Uh, so this is the takeaway of this long involved story for my ADD listeners. This is the takeaway. <clears throat> SpaceX wants to surround Earth with a fleet of internet satellites called Starlink. Original plans, which I was just talking about a couple of months ago, the original plans called for launching nearly 12,000 satellites over the next eight years or so. However, Space News now reports that SpaceX has asked, I don't know who you ask, has asked to launch 30,000 more satellites for a total of 42,000. 42,000. That is about 20 times the number of working satellites, you know, up there today, and nearly five times the total of all spacecraft that humanity has ever launched. 
since 1957. I think that was Sputnik they're talking to. The billionaire Elon Musk, the rocket company's founder, has said he hopes Starlink. Starlink will get rural and remote regions of Earth online with affordable high-speed web access. So uh, as the uh, satellite debris is raining through your mud hut out there in rural Pakistan, uh, you will at least be able to watch your cute cat videos in high speed as your house erupts in flames. Uh, yes, I wonder. No, I already have high speed internet in uh, the Hambone Hilton with no help from Elon Musk. Anyway, this is still just the takeaway summation. <clears throat> Launching a bunch of satellites, yes, 42,000, launching a bunch of satellites increases the risk of collisions and space debris. In early September, SpaceX itself experienced a close call between one of its first 60, they got 60 of these things up there, one of its first 60 Starlink satellites in a European spacecraft. And don't forget Amazon. This is, you know, that billionaire Jeff Bezos, the richest person on the planet. Amazon, which is working towards its Kuiper system internet constellation of satellites, recently told the FCC that if just one in 20 satellites loses its ability to dodge debris or other satellites, there would be about a 6% chance of collision. All right, and that is the takeaway, and then they dive into, good Lord, this is uh, Business Insider. You know, I'm actually pretty impressed by Business Insider uh, they got they got a pretty good team of journalists here. All right, now that we finally get to the story, I'm not gonna I'm gonna put the link on here, but let's just uh, let's just look at a few of a little bit of this. Okay, <clears throat> if Elon Musk SpaceX gets the go ahead, the company's planned feed of Starlink internet satellites could soon outnumber all the spacecraft humanity has ever launched by nearly five to one. That's according to Caleb Henry at Space News, who on Tuesday reported that SpaceX, founded by tech mogul Elon Musk, is seeking commission oh, from the International Telecommunications Union to fly an additional 30,000 Starlink satellites into space those tens of thousands would be in addition to the nearly 12,000 uh, SpaceX asked permission to launch from the U.S. Federal Communications Commission. Uh, total day, we're looking at 42,000. I'm unclear. Well, who knows uh, why you ask permission from all of these different agencies. Okay, that figure is striking if, if it comes to pass. SpaceX would then have 20 times the number of operational satellites in orbit today per a recent tally by the Union of Concerned Scientists. Yes, uh, the company's mega fleet would also eclipse the, the count of all spacecraft ever launched into space by humanity by nearly five-fold, according to a UN uh, database. Um, is there a timeline on this? Uh, Let's see, I do not see if it's still on the eight-year time line. Uh, 
It would be nice if they would give us the time. Anyway, uh, there are a few reasons companies like SpaceX, Amazon, and all these others want to launch large constellations of internet providing satellites. Chief among these reasons is to rake in billions of dollars. Wow, imagine that. Okay, Starlink, for example, would hug the Earth between hundreds of miles to 1,000 miles away with a larger number of new satellites they would link together into a floating internet backbone. Jesus, guys. Providing a faster alternative to fiber optic cables that span the world today. A privilege that financial traders would ostensibly pay big money to use and this gets into this whole notion which I don't have time to get into if you uh, about these uh, nanosecond uh, sell, buy, sell and buy orders uh, on the stock market is what this is referring to. That, that is a whole nother rant uh, about it, it's the stock market, it's these billionaire investors wanting to cheat uh, the, the little guys. It, this is one more example of, uh, of this fucker giving his billionaire buddies uh, the newest weapon to cheat you and I of having any chance of ever making any real money in this rigged stock market. But I don't want to get into that conspiracy theory. What else? Uh, let's see. I'm sure they're going to start talking about collisions. Uh... The price tag has risen. In May 2018, the price tag was $10 billion, and now it's up to $50 billion. Uh, oh, this is the money they could make that, e that Elon uh, could make uh, between 30 to, b 30 to 50 billion dollars per year by grabbing just a few percent of the global telecommunications industry total business. Uh, oh, I, I'm sorry, that was a uh, financial analyst, this 52 billion dollars, that was on based on the 12,000. Jesus. Uh, anyway, okay, the practical aim of Starlink, aside from cashing in, is to cover the Earth with high speed, low latency, whatever the hell that means, and affordable internet access, uh, having more points of access, yeah, 42,000 would benefit that aim. Uh, even partial deployment of Starlink would benefit the financial sector. Yes, it would. But, finally, and in all caps, but the risk of space collisions invariably rises as more satellites go in to orbit. Uh, and then they look at some others. So Amazon is only planning to launch 3,236 of its satellites. And then we have all of these smaller companies. And each of these new fleets significantly adds to the risk of spacecraft collisions with other spacecraft the same goes for the resulting space debris or high-speed junk which can strike, disable, or destroy other satellites. Uh, 
Here's a separate report on Wednesday touched on this risk. Uh, and there's other articles in the mainstream media talking about this. Uh, and the rate we were just talking about, this 6% risk, uh, such a rate is, quote, well beyond what Amazon would view as expected or acceptable. Well, it's going to be a hell of a lot more than that. Uh, at a 6% chance of collision, astronauts would be put into an escape hatch to escape the International Space Station uh, good Lord, that's at 6%. NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center has seen a 5% failure rate with its first batch of 60 Starlink. Uh, anyway, then of course, you, you know, the... the, the these uh, Musk and all these guys, you know, calling anybody uh, like doing a rant like this, you know, we're just being alarmist. Where you know, it, the sky is not falling. Uh, no, just little pieces of satellites are falling. Uh, one proposed tweak. Proposed tweak is having companies ensure the risk of collisions for an entire satellite fleet. The entire fleet, uh, not just one spacecraft, be no more than one in a thousand. There you go. <laughs> uh, obviously, SpaceX declined to, con to talk to a business insider reporter. However, a company representative told Spaceflight Now in a statement, quote, quote, as demand escalates for fast, reliable internet around the world, especially for those where connectivity is non-existent, too expensive or unreliable, SpaceX is taking steps to responsibly scale up Starlink's total network capacity and data density to meet the growth in users' anticipated needs. There you go. Thank you, Elon Musk, for uh, doing your part to bring us internet coverage so I can report the collapse of a planet from anywhere on the planet. But with this We Are So Fucked Doomer headline out of the way, uh, I think it's time to go make an apple pie while I still can. And I suggest you get out there and make an apple pie while you still can before a piece of space junk comes crashing through your kitchen. Bye, guys.